Blanky here at DMG Mori. You know, why are you at the event? Yeah, Tebis is here today at DMG Mori Open House to demonstrate Tebis's capabilities and to show how introducing Tebis automation to your workshop can benefit your business. And can you tell me a little bit about Tebis, please? Yes, yeah, so Tebis for over 35 years has provided CAD, CAM and MES software um, uh, for mechanical components, model, pattern and mold and die. Uh, also servicing for aerospace, motorsports, um, oil and gas industries. And what Tebis also offers is the world uh, leading advanced technologies for um, pr uh, manufacturing processes like automation, standardization with shop floor equipment and also uh, resource monitoring, process planning and control. So Andy, this is an aerospace part, isn't it? You know, talk us through the strategy and talk us through how you've programmed it. Okay, so the part we've got on this Evo Linear today is a high precision aerospace component. Um, the Tempest programming process has employed quite a few of our uh, uh, machining strategies involved. So we, our main one here that we like to see is the um, adaptive roughing. Uh, where most softwares are able to produce adaptive roughing in three axes, we've actually got this running in five. Um, the main advantage for this is that we can dive right into corners, get very, very close to the finished surfaces, um, while still maintaining the amount of uh, rough material, stock material left on the part. It means also that we don't have to come back and do any uh, secondary roughing or re-roughing operations. We can take the vast majority of the, tool, uh, the material out with the original roughing tool. Um, alongside that, we uh, are using some more standard roughing uh, operations. We've got some trachoidal milling in there. We've got some um, five-axis dynamic finishing. Um, when we come on to the finishing aspects of this part, we're using conical barrel tools supplied by Quick Grind. Um, these tools are able to um, come down some surface areas and the advantage of these over a ball nose would be a much larger step over and a much higher feed rate. So what we're able to do is maintain the surface finish, um, but vastly reduce the uh, machining time involved. Yeah, if you look at this, it, it's quite straightforward. I think it's deburring operation, and quite straightforward, but another part of the compare it's very aggressive, isn't it? Yes, it is very aggressive. Um, we can hand most of the credit to that for to Crick Wine for their tooling. Obviously, they're able to um, really drive these tools very hard, very effective in aluminium for this particular component. Um, pairing that with the adaptive strategy where we use very little side loading of the tool, maximum depth of the tool and very little side loading means that we can drive these tools really, really fast and very, very aggressively. And how easy is that to program using Tebis, the barrel milling? Uh, very, very simple. Um, it, it's, it's a part and parcel program. We, we pick the drive surfaces. Tebis automatically creates support surfaces underneath. We denote an angle and off it goes. So what makes Tebis different? Okay, so the Tebis, what makes it different is the high level of automation that we can offer. And we can do this through our library system. So we have five libraries uh, for cutting tools, where we manage not just the, the cutting tool geometry, but all the speeds, feeds, step overs, and everything associated with this, even to the effect of uh, what speeds and feeds should be used on a particular type of material, what machining group, whether it be a large machine or small machine. So there's a lot of information stored in there. Also, the machines as well are under a second library where we understand machine limits, both rotational, linear, and we manage all of the connections in between tool paths. Um, the third area would be features, uh, where we have feature recognition geometry. And attached to those would be our fourth library of can machine in cycles, where we have them predefined. Uh, and then finally, the, the fifth one is our uh, predefined processes, which allow us to machine a job from start to finish with not just two and a half D features and freeform features, but also open features, th uh, 3D surfaces. Uh, and I think this is actually what makes us special because uh, a customer can actually have a high level of automation in their process uh, and a high level of knowledge stored in the system, which is normally stored by an engineer in his own mind. Um, so this is quite special because, you know, if a company wants to bring on new people, especially in a, in a time where skills, uh, skill shortages and things like that, we can, we can actually give fast learning times to, to our product and actually have people uh, programming in, in a standardized fashion, a standardized process very quickly um, to, to good quality uh, right from the very beginning. So uh, yeah, so this is very cost effective and I think what, this is what a lot of companies really like about Tebis.